cheating the system. University administrators and students react to the largest ever college admission scandal. Good evening, I'm John Michael Roche. And I'm Josie Leonetti. Welcome to this Tuesday night edition of News Waves. It's a story of parents going over and above to rig the system for their kids. At Pepperdine, admissions directors are speaking out about the consequences of the recent scandal. News Waves 32 reporter Emily Tenser joins us live from outside the admissions office with the details. Emily? This time of year is usually when students find out if they got into or out of the college that they applied to, but now the whole world is finding out about how some students' parents allegedly paid their child's way into college acceptance. USC, UCLA, Georgetown, Stanford, and many more big names, big reputations, all now under fire. In the largest college admissions scam ever prosecuted by the Department of Justice. The FBI announced this morning that 38 individuals are taken into custody for allegedly bribing universities to accept their children. The indictment list includes big names like actresses Felicity Huffman and Lori Loughlin. For every student admitted through fraud, an honest, genuinely talented student was rejected. And that's how Pepperdine freshman Rachel Stenz feels. Rachel is the same age as Lori Laughlin's daughter, USC freshman Olivia Jade. It's pretty upsetting to see because I worked really hard to get into Pepperdine, and USC is a more competitive school, so it's really disappointing to see such a prestigious school just let in anyone. And Rachel is a fan of Olivia, who is a popular YouTuber and social media influencer. I was pretty shocked because as a YouTuber, she was someone that I kind of looked up to, like not only was she like a beauty and fashion inspiration, but the fact that she got into USC was pretty inspiring. So I was pretty disappointed when someone that is a role model for so many people has done something so disappointing and negative. This all breaks out right on time during prime college acceptance season. Pepperdine's director of admission, Falone Cerna, says although he has never dealt with the situation specifically, he is sure parents have tried to bribe Pepperdine. He has experience dealing with families in a wealthy mentality. College admission is so different because um, a, a lot of families, if they're from that type of background, you know, their world is, you know, what can I pay or what can I do to get what I want? But at the end of the day, money can only get you so far. Again, we're talking places like Yale, Penn, Stanford, Georgetown. If you're not academically prepared to be at that place, even if you are able to get in because your parent fudged your record, how are you, how's your experience going to be there? How are you going to succeed there? None of the students were charged and authorities say some were not even aware this was going on. Students got into these colleges by having a third party take the SAT or ACT for them, or coaches recruited them to be a part of an athletic team, but they were not asked to play. Universities have still not said if the students involved in this scandal will continue their education there. Back to you guys at the desk.